Right, first thing I'm going to do, because you can see here Trudy is at already at level 5, and uh, just to show there's been no hanky-panky work or whatever, I'm just going to show a quick movie of how we actually got to be in the uh, illustrious position of being level 5. Uh, talk, talk over, over this, this if I'm allowed to do that and uh, music in the background is taken from a track I had on the EJ5 um, software to create back tracks and as far as I'm aware there's no copyright on it so I'll be using something like that quite regularly so this is true she's, she's going around she's uh, getting her Getting up to level five, which is something everybody's got to do with a hunter. They come into uh, North Shire Abbey and they have to follow the, certainly the first routine. They don't have to, I guess, but uh, most people do follow the routine. And they get their, uh, they get their first five levels out of the way as quick as possible. I think this took about 17 minutes or something equally ridiculous. Uh, 22 minutes from the start of creating the character, but this is played back at uh, about eight times the normal speed, and I had the record button pressed at the time, so uh, I was able just to run this off as a quickie. And so you can see, there's no no sort of cheating; she just did everything as you would normally. Uh, the advantages she's got: she's got friends who sent her five gold to kick her off with. And she's also got heirloom stuff which she uh, uses. Um, she's got the tabard as well, the guild tabard, which um, does enhance uh, reputation as well. So she's doing quite well in as much as uh, she's just a novice. Um. <coughs> and here she is, exactly where we left her. There's a dog as part of the, uh, the table. Right, we have, what do we have? Oh, just, uh, I've got some helpers here, and as much as I use Monkey Quest, just to keep a, a track of the um, various quests I've got to go on. I've also got Doogie's Guide, but I shan't be using that today, because uh, I am quite uh, happy about going around on there. So, off we jolly well go, and we'll go and try and do some of these quests, the first one being... Uh, Gold dust, so could use the motorbike, couldn't we? Because we have that uh, courtesy of one of my other characters. I think it was Max on Shadow Sun who uh, managed to get this uh, transportation for us. We like that. <coughs> so trundling around quite merrily and here's our first uh, character who's going to get the demise there, she, there he is, our oh, poor chap no mind. these things happen so we need uh, 10 candles and 10 uh, gold dusts uh, a lot of people I've noticed to go straight and pick up the other quest there where they have to go across the other side of the, um, the fields to pick up the, um, yeah, they pick up the other quest for the necklace. Good day, mate. Uh, he's probably been here, he's killed everything uh, moving, which is usually my, uh, that's what happens to me. Yeah, he's probably been around and killed every single cobalt miner that's in the cave or in the mine. May 10,000 fleas infest his armpits. Oh, there's somebody who's dead. But they're alive now, but they're dead now, if you know what I mean. some of that. Yeah, who can't? This is another miner just bit the dust. Mm. 
How are we doing? So and I Yeah. Oh lovely. Another level. Just gonna change these um, these two around a bit and get rid of that because that was from when we were leveling earlier on. <coughs> What? A blunderbuss better than my heirloom stuff? gone now. I was going to say you should be watching Twitch and get famous. There we go, one of each. There you go, good buddy. So, a bit of a dead end down that corridor. I think we'll have to maybe just uh, exit here because Usually, well not usually, sometimes when I come down here, I uh, I have the place to myself. Ah, that's pretty pointless as well. I don't know about you, anyone else who plays the game, that uh, these mine tunnels they start to look so much alike and they end up running around in circles till you disappear, you know? With six out of ten of uh, one sort and five out of eight of the candles. And wouldn't you think Blizzard would do something about this poor chap here, hidden in a tree? That's him, he's dead. You can't, you can't loot him. Unless, of course, you can kill something in close proximity. And when we loot that, we get his stuff as well. <coughs> so... You get both barrels of uh, this blunderbuss in your face, you're not going to walk around very far, are you? So, if we go, Mars Stonehouse, we'll have your quest, we'll have Auntie Bernice's quest, and we'll have this uh, rather giant looking. Uh, <coughs> Gortus more, isn't it? And I'm also a skinner, which I did pick up from the, uh, the chappy in the tent just outside the uh, pub in Goldshire. So I should be doing some skinning on the way around as well. Might as well keep that going. And I'll have some fancy boots off you as well. Thank you, Ma. Right, so we still need three and one of the uh, other items in the earlier quest. Die. There's usually one over here somewhere. Unless somebody's killed him as well. There we go. Good man. Two more of those. <coughs> this chappy here looks like he's carrying a load of gold dust. Oh, yeah, the candle instead. Great. Don't mind. That's the last one there, so it's only a couple of gold dust I need there. Magic. One more, we'll get that on the way back, probably. very much uh, the normal way, I think most people do it this way. It's only when we get back to Goldshire to hand these quests in that I take a, uh, a turn off what's considered the normal way around. Because um, I think, I don't know whether it is or not, but I think I found a quicker route than uh, the normal um, guides that take you around, the ones that they say.
Very ungrateful, that lady. Especially when you give her the uh, the, um, the pots of invisibility potion. And she takes it down, she actually says, Here goes nothing. Well, it may be nothing to you, lady, but to me, it could have cost my life, you know? So another quest out the way, on the way. <coughs> so what else have we got here? Have we got any resurrections pending? Yeah, that's what we will do. I hope you're holding on to some nice gold dust. It certainly was magic. Oh. You didn't have to die, champ. You could have just left me alone. Oh, what's that, a recipe or something? I have auto loot switched on. Right, you go on to Bernice. And another level up, wonderful. I thought I'd skinned it, so I might have done my not. Maybe we'll just take a run around here and pick up yet another quest. Well, turn a quest in and pick up another. So here's Tommy, Tommy Gel. Y'all come back now. Lucy. I suppose if you call yourself loser or Lucy, you're on a downward trend straight away, aren't you? <coughs> right, so we don't have to worry about the cobalt miners on this run because we've got everything we need off them. Although I dare say they could get nasty with me and start. Yeah, thought so. Here I'll go, Billy, have your pie, and tell me who's got the necklace. Ah, right, okay. Get your old gold tooth here. I remember one time you used to come up to here and try to kill this guy, and it was almost impossible to kill him on your own. Um, usually I'd have one or two people and the same for many um, many of the quests have been have made ridiculously easy um, same with Hogger um, don't need a bag but I think we get a bag off this guy don't we yeah there we go it's always handy it's always two silver fifty as well if you're not collecting the bags you can collect the money for them Put them on the auction house and maybe get a couple of gold for them, depending on how the uh, the auction house is for them at the moment. So that's pretty much normal. That's the way we, most people would go round. Might as well use the hearthstone. Got nothing else to use it for. It only takes 15 minutes to uh, get back to go together again. But I shan't be bothered. Um, Spending time saving bits and pieces, or right here's the candles. There's our next quest. Great stuff. So you can be making the uh, the potion while I hand these other quests in. <coughs> that puts me to level eight already. 
So this general broadcast may not be lasting too sh too long. We'll have that. I'll have another one off you. The gold dust. Don't think that's fair though. There's your fishy peril. Oh right, I've got to get the fish. Ah, I'm ahead of myself. I have to go and get some uh, some kelp frond, whatever that is. I've worried these murlocs. Don't we love the murlocs? Again, that's one of the things that's changed in the game, isn't it? That uh, the murlocs, all well and good, uh, we used to be so scared of them. We used to hear the noise of the murloc and then run a mile. But now we don't. We just accept them as just one of those minor interferences that we have to get rid of. We can just walk into the middle of their camp rather than creeping and pick them off as they happen. I mean, two killed in that short space of time. Well, one was killed by the dog before I managed to get a shot in. So uh, I reckon that might be just a little bit too easy. Come on, guys, sing it out. Tell it the way it is. And you. I just one shotting these guys. It's not. Uh, it's not part of the game. I'm sure. It's just ridiculous. One more like that, and we can wander off. Not to run off. Nothing to run from. These. These are so pathetically weak. That's it. That'll do. Leave you to it, guys. Use the motorbike. Skippy motorbike. Now this, we've done the quest. We're just going to hand that in and get the uh, invisibility potion. Uh, I've also noticed a new quest there, which is the uh, scout through Jasper Lode Mine. And again, I've seen people rushing straight off to do that. And it's, it seems crazy that uh, we have to go chasing around back and forth all over the same ground several times. And what I try to do is, uh, if I can, uh, do it in one big circle. So what I'm going to do is take a ride on the Storming Charger. And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to go and get myself a cold drink. And this is me back again. And there's Darabelle popped up, She's one of my followers. Nice to see you there again, Darabelle. Any suggestions? What aunt is that? What mount is that? All oh, right. Who said that? I tank. Right. Uh, whisper. Uh. 
saw in charger. You can, you can ride it. That's going to be his next question, isn't it? You can ask me who I get it from. Shall I tell him or shall I not tell him? Yeah. I guess the idea is to show, uh, he's going to ask me, how, where do you get it from it? that level. And I uh, can't remember the guy's name where I got it from. But the uh, Stormwind Charger that you get is actually much faster than your uh, your motorbike. Uh, travels it um, in this uh, I think it's monkey monkey speed. It's called. Um, it actually shows you travelling at 200 normal movement speed. So uh, that's pretty good. Oh, he had a. That's different. He had a uh, bit of linen on him, <coughs> which is very good. Okay, we'll have a supervisor railing. Then hand it. Oh, we've got another quest here to hand in. Haven't we just open the bags a little. Accept the quest off that, and then we can hand it in here. That's it, complete that one. And complete that one, that's great. I'll just pop over and see the uh, old shop over here. See if I want anything of mine. Because I certainly don't. Some of it is a bit junky. Yep, money. That's what I'm looking for. Don't want to part with that, silly Billy. Keep that. That can go, that can go, that can go. Get rid of the pumpkin, get rid of the liquid. Appointments, uh, trousers. Okay, that'll, uh, that'll do nicely for now. So we go off. This is now, this is where I tend to just um, vary my route a little bit uh, from the norm. Obviously you go around, you've got wolves to collect and you've got um, <coughs> you've got logs to collect on the way around, obviously. Um, so I do, I, I get rid of a bit of the opposition on this run. Um, and of course skinning, I need the skins, that's what makes my money. I don't want to go too much into the Murloc camp there because uh, I'll need to collect various bits and pieces from them shortly. So we'll just do what we have to do and head towards Jasper Load Mine. Picking up whatever we can on the way. I thought I saw a, a wolf coming up behind me there. Logs. There's another wolf. I seem to have no difficulty. Again, this is one of those areas you used to dread coming to because it was hard to do. It was quite difficult because by the time you got here, you'd only be level sort of uh, seven, maybe. And maybe didn't quite level quite as fast. And these wolves have always been level ten, sometimes eleven. And here's me at level 9 already, and I haven't even uh, started the area properly. Uh, so, we'll carry on, we'll just get another one or two walls from here, then we'll head towards Jasper Oak Mine, which is uh, just along the way a bit. And I think by the time we probably get back to this area, we will be already level 10. So, perhaps I should have uh, set my sights a little bit higher when I started off doing the demonstration. Might as well uh, perish. Wonderful chap. And again, I say the Murlocs used to dread hearing their call and hearing their cry um, because you knew that it was almost certain death if you ever stumbled across them. <coughs> it's one of the few characters who used to gang up on you. 
the early times. Here's the, uh, the, the quest that we're after. One of the lost cards. Seems like he's been eaten by the uh, some of the wolves as well. <coughs> particular route that I'm taking down to the Jasper Load Mine, obviously it fulfills certain uh, requirements of the other quests, certainly Killing Wolf quest, um, that you need to fulfill. Uh, the reason I used to come down here is because the wolves down here would always be sort of uh, level 6 or 7, which is about the same as I used to be at that time. Um, that's enough of them got wolves for that, that's great. We've done our skinning. Uh, so yeah, when we used to come down here as a level seven, <coughs> sometimes eight, but the wolves down here would be level seven, so it'd make it a slightly easier kill than sticking around where the Murloc camp was further up. Uh, it's uh, normal, I, th I, well, I say normal, but by the time I get down here, somebody has already gone into the mine and killed most of the opposition off, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, being too many people there. As I say, that was the old times, but now we, we're at such a level it doesn't matter, because these are just minor inconveniences. In fact, probably nobody's been down here for ten minutes or so, because everybody's still alive. He get a chance to fire his spell, does he? And he's dead. Again, totally um, underrated again. Whoever did the changes, they they must have been on the brandy the night before, is all I can say. It really took the, the energy out of the game, I think, because you, you tread so carefully when you're coming down this particular path as well. If you came down here, you tread carefully, and, and nine times out of ten, when you got to the brow of the hill, you try not to disturb this guy. Uh, but now it doesn't matter, it's just more points and more copper to pick out of his pockets. And I feel that's maybe ruined the game a little bit for me. And obviously if you're a member of a, uh, a guild killing them rats that we saw just now would, uh, would have been good. <coughs> yeah, I'm going away from the area where we were working do the quest because there's a there's a few guys down this way who I'd like to uh, dispatch as nicely as possible. We're back into Chris, Crystal Lake, and we'll see a load of guards around here in a moment. Uh, these guards were particularly vicious once upon a time. Um, is one of them. These fellas, you know, they'd, they'd really rip you apart if you came around here. You'd, you'd be in this a area ages trying to, to resurrect. Where's my dog gone? Okay. Thought he got killed. Ridiculous. So here we are doing my little one to ten run. Oh look at this happy band of people. They almost disregard you now, they're, they're that weak. Um, they're not. They're not worth the effort really to, to come and kill anymore. You used to have a little bit of a battle on with them. But not so, not so anymore. So we'll jump aboard the motorbike. Really soak the engine. 
so this is the first variation of the uh, area that we were doing um, back down into the uh, pub no we don't actually need to go in the pub sorry we need to just hand this jasper over my request in Marshall Dugan let's see Try and remember Marshall Dugan's name in case the uh, chap you asked me earlier on says, Where do you get it from? Right, another chap here. The reason for killing these are that uh, we're after the linen cloth that occasionally they uh, carry, and with the bears, of course, we dispatch a few bears on this route. is so ridiculous that these, these people are sent to defend this area for their kind, the bandits in the area. Um, but this face is like, I don't know, like reading kindergarten, isn't it, for the sweeties, and that's the opposition that you've got. It's just one shot in them, that, that should be. This is a level 8 bear, isn't it? It's a level 8 corpse now. And if a level 8 bear came up, you're in, I don't know, the, the woods in Canada or Shoshati Bay or whatever it is in um, Canada, and you get one of those bears after you, you wouldn't be able to one shot it. Even with a 12 or shotgun, you'd have to shoot it several times before you actually achieved uh, mortification on the bear side. And if you were very unlucky, it might have been mortification on your side. Right, here's the ungrateful woman. Have your invisibility, invisibility potion. There you go. Yes, yeah, see you around. What did she says? Here goes nothing. Nothing for you. I've had to fight bears to get that potion. I had to fight murlocs into a murloc camp. Risk my life for the sake of your love life. All I get is, here goes nothing. <coughs> and another reason for coming this way, of course, is to pick up the uh, graphical location of Jarrah's Landing. If we look at the map here, um, this is one of those areas that gets missed with regular frequency. So we're going up here, up the side of the river, and we'll also have to make sure that we get... Um, the uh, castle that's up here as well, because uh, that is one of the areas that uh, is prime for the exploration side. Oh. And this, these are, these guys here, you would never have faced them. One, you'd never face them at one time. Just wouldn't. You'd run a mile when you saw them because they were so vicious. They were bandits, man. I remember treading through this area with such trepidation because you knew that if you set a foot wrong you were going to be part of the scenery you're going to be a corpse just lying there like I say it's um, well look at you here, somebody has actually taken my foot away. They've killed all the bandits, and I was going to do that myself. Never mind. We just plod on regardless. Anyway, there's usually uh, three. There's usually three bandits there. Plus, there's one um, a special one. He drops a nice bit of uh, armor, or usually a weapon, or a bit of armor that you can use. Uh, which is all well and good, but somebody beat me to it today. I can live with that, it's not a problem. Anyway, here's the river, and we're going to run all the way the length of the river to the next Murloc camp, which also 
takes us, if I can just show you on the map, uh, it takes us all the way up here. We can get the Manant quest here, which is the collector's ring in the uh, um, pumpkin farm there. There's bounty on merlocks, we need eight merlock fins, torn merlock fins, not your normal everyday merlock fin. So we'll tear one from his body, rip. No, that was just a normal one. <coughs> What's the difference between a torn Murloc fin and a non-torn Murloc fin? No. So we persevere. And another Murloc bites the dust. <coughs> I remember coming down here one time I think I had a level 5 character, level 6 character maybe, um, just exploring, didn't know really uh, what was down here, so that was the reason I was exploring, that was the first of our torn Murloc fins there, and we came down here and I died, oh, several times, of course we have this rare as well, and here's level 10, we haven't even finished doing some of the quests here, but we're at level 10 already. So, uh, new ability is Beast Law. Now, can somebody please tell me or whisper me, what is the point on the Beast Law? Um, <coughs> so I, I, maybe it was a request by somebody. But it does, unfortunately, mean absolutely nothing was zilch, zero, nada to me. So here we are at level 10. Let's have a look and see what here. Uh, I'll go survive. survival, I think. Get the explosive shot, because that's quite good. I'm in combat, apparently. Not anymore, I'm not. Okay, so now I am... <coughs> Excuse me. A survival hunter. Pretty much frogs in the throat. There's been a cold going around the area for some time where I live, and uh, it seems like everybody you talk to has got a cold or a cough or runny nose or something these days. And I seem to have the uh, the stuffed up throat, the catarrh. So here we are, we've achieved level 10 in, I don't know how many. Fifty-two minutes in total to level 10. And that's with messing around and uh, sitting watching movies, everything else. Three minutes of movie in that. Murdoch fins obtained. Another one, one more needed. That'll do it, thank you very much. We're complete. a bit of copper from them. Nine copper. That's the difference between having a cup of tea and not, isn't it? 
So now we'll go to the uh, pumpkin farm, which is just over the way here. We'll have a word to the bandits and see if they can give us the uh, collector's ring. We have a bear. the betting that that guy has polished off all the uh, guys in there? Oh, maybe not. How sad. Three people died so easily. I can remember in this area standing around and calling for help. Can somebody help me please on this this quest because I can't do it. I keep getting dead. Now you could walk in there with a nice lolly, couldn't you? You know, it's just so, so easy. Let's see if my motorbike's faster than his motorbike. And I shan't bother handing in the quest, I might as well get on to the next point, which is to pick up the, uh, the tower uh, for the geographical searches in the area. Big bad wolf. Bam, bam, bam. Big bad wolf. Here's Ridge Point Tower. Discovered it so we can move on. <coughs> so I think we've got all the uh, we've got the prowlers and forest wolves, we've got the bears, we need a few more bundles of wood and we've got to find the missing guard which is just over this way. So keeping my eyes open for the wood, there's one ahead, oh there's one here then. Do I have to get off my bike? Yeah. Six. This will be seven, and there's one just over the rise, which will be eight. And then when I finish that one, there we go. There's a one. There's quite a few over here actually. <coughs> it's not as if there's a shortage of wood in a bit of a forest. Right. Not many people following me today. There's only two people online. And I dare say the two people, one of them is me, the other is probably Darabel. And the total damage taken here is pathetic. Nothing, nothing at all. Three murlocs charging at you. Up in arms and angry. What do they do? They don't even scratch you. <coughs> Single shotting balls. I think whoever's uh, lifted the whoever's lifted the uh, amount of level required to kill these people, these animals, they must have slipped because it's just so pathetic. They're easy to do. So I shall hand in these quests, not straight away, because I want to go and get my bike out here. <coughs> go to the guide on the other side of the bridge. No worries at all about flooding the engine, is it? when I first started to play World of Warcraft it was all a question of 
about how good it was. Graphics are good. I still say now the graphics are good. Uh, but somebody forgot to pay detail to abilities in others. Big motorbike is the only bit of transport I can ride. Well, I can't ride it. I get a chauffeur to do it. <coughs> complete wonderful stuff thank you very much level 11 I've achieved my goal for the day which is uh, reaching level 10 reaching level 10 without any hindrance the most notorious bandits in the county are all here and they haven't put any opposition up at all so, I might as well hearthstone back to God's child rather than wasting money on a flight. Don't know how much it costs, probably free anyway. And there we have it, level 11, in no time at all. I'm told that Westwood Garrison needs help, so. Uh, Shall I carry on? What time is it now? It's 10 to 3. Yeah, in the next 10 minutes. I can just whip up and sort out the rest of the quests in Goldshire. <coughs> Welcome all the uh, viewers who are here watching this uh, scenario. The idea was to get from level, well, level 5 potentially. It was from level 1 originally, but uh, I decided that the uh, trip through North End, nobody wanted to see that again. And I have uh, got up to level 11. I only went to go as far as 10 today, but in this area is so easy now that there's no, there's no real fight involved in it. Um, I've got um, heirloom stuff <coughs> that I'm wearing. I've also got uh, Guild Tabard, which gives me increased experience, etc. And so, here we are, sort of finishing off, um, finishing off the, the uh, Elwyn Forest areas, which is good. I'll be high tank there, who's been following me around pretty much most of the way. Yeah, no, it's somebody else. There we go. It's one of them. We'll have Hogger, we'll have this one. He's just finished. So, again, we used to thoroughly enjoy doing this particular area because this was, this was challenging. And you'd get to around here and you'd have a little macro that said, can somebody please help me? Help, I need to do hogger, can somebody help me? It was recommended to have two or three people in a group to do hogger. Uh, he, he was vicious, and if you managed to kill him yourself, he did really, really well. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything to be sniffed at. These guys, again, like the Murlocs, you come across these fellas, and you did not really want to do battle with them because they were so strong. They'd have you down in the ground. Bears. How many times have you run around the other side of the tree to avoid that bear? It just doesn't matter anymore. Well, used to be a rare here, I don't know if it still is, I've been here for ages. Uh, <coughs> apparently not. The my wolf kills with more ferocity than some of these people here. Bang bang, you're dead, lie on the floor. That's it, that's all that quest. Here's Mr. Hogger, bless him. Most vicious doll in the area. Oh, 
Oh, because he didn't stop it. Anybody thought about that sitting? If you stop eating, please, Mr. Hogan. Yeah, the, uh, the challenge, certainly. I mean, this, he's elite, he's level elite. At one time, it used to mean that he's equivalent to about level 15. And in fact, a sneeze in this area, in case you kill him. Kill him with the cold or whatever. So yeah, a little bit of pessimism. Is it pessimism? Pessimistic, that's all right. Again, back to the days when uh, we first got the game and we came to this area, it was so full of fear for everybody. I remember with my first character, I saw this other area on the bridge and thought I must go and visit, visit there because uh, that looks interesting. It's like a almost desert area, certainly dry area, and it was the change from the green of this uh, Elwyn Forest. And thought, right, that's going to be it. I'm going to take a walk up there. I don't think I'd gone ten yards, and then some eagles swooped down, and I was eagled in. At. The thing is, I've gone quite a way in, and uh, it took me quite a way to get out of it as well. I uh, kept dying, so I had to go back and get resurrected, and then as soon as I got resurrected, run as far as I could before getting killed again. And it was. I, I swore I'd never go back there. That was it. I was uh, really put off the game. It was too difficult for me. Couldn't do it. Um, and now you walk around, you say boo to half the characters, you know, half the, uh, half the animals, they just go boo when they drop down dead through fright. Uh, so this is us. We're off to Goldshire again. Uh, I will not go much further today. Um, unfortunately, I have limited time, but I will be back tomorrow with uh, The Sims 4 and a challenge to see if we can manage to get 100,000 simoleons from working in garden. Three girls are working, haven't got jobs. All they've got is garden in the back of the house. They go around the neighbourhood collecting the various seeds and plants. And that is their income. If they don't do very well or the plants die, then they've got no income at all. Anyway, that's that. We'll hand this quest in. Almost made it to 12, which surprises me because we only aimed to go at level 10. But it was so easy. It's just pathetic, really. So thank you very much. Uh, for listening. I hope you've uh, enjoyed what you saw anyway and it's maybe just opened your mind to a different way around to the normal uh, guide method of getting around. It's certainly, yeah, I've certainly enjoyed doing it time and time again. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow on the same channel but with The Sims 4 and The Three Girls. Bye for now.